guide for the gear. The first piece, this is the ideal piece. It is the perfect stack pull as well. Intensity My Valor is what you want. And how would you get this piece? Tacking on event, you'd have to realistically save scum if you want this exact piece. And what you really want on it is power attack, it does plasma, and of course, fall the stacking on surge. With these three stats. Here's the stat pool, Valor Might, Intensity, Precision. You don't want precision. And the reason you want plasma over, let's say, cosmic is because plasma will synergize with your sonic range piece. It allows you to build plasma and sonic at the same time, which is battery damage, insanely good. If you don't have that piece, you can use just an RNG piece with power attack scoop plasma. Probably the best bottom perk would be Bone Shaker's Boon. Something like this would be definitely good enough if you don't have the tachyon piece. And again, you want the power attack, and this is probably your best bottom perk you know, with triple good stats, of course. The range piece, this is super important. You want this piece, and you want this exact piece with all three stats, and you want Valor and Might on it. and you could also get resilience. You don't really care about precision. So Valor Might, Resilience, Valor Might, Precision, or Valor Might are all good. And you want these three perks. This is the most important perk, the Faultless buff. It makes your melee give you damage buff. You really want Sonic Range because, as I stated earlier, that synergizes with the Plasma, allows you to build both at the same time. And then this Vibranium Double Leak is pretty useful. It's definitely the best of the top perks. So this is what you want for the range piece. You get it from Raid, Elite Raid, or the Vibranium event. Your chess piece, you want an OLT chess piece, reactive cosmic surge, and resolve proficiency and might. Here's the stat pool. Obviously, you just don't want precision. You want the other three. And the top two perks don't really matter. There's a couple cheese perks you can add on onto it. They're not super important. This allows you to get a mini bone shaker when you dodge, and this is a evade distance. How do we get those? The perfect dodge, it only works for the dodge part. Um, you can get it from the vault or the red room event. It has to be the exotic version. And the evade distance you get from Mega Hive, if you, you can save scum for it if you want. It's super not necessary though, it's not very important. For the heroic piece, you want the World Breakers Neurotics with Valor Might Resolve. Here's a stat pool, you just don't want precision. Ideally, you want you Valor Might Resolve. The bottom perk is really what makes this piece so good the 300% heroic charge rate, and you get. Healing effect, healing speed while bone shakers active, which should be 24 7. This one is decent, and this middle perk doesn't really matter. And it needs to be the exotic version. I would say that the stranglehold assistance is very important. You definitely want to get that. There's another option for your four piece it's the immutable alloy. You can buy this from the Wakanda vendor. Every week, this specific piece is available the resolve Valor Might piece. And with this piece, the, I think the three the rage assistance is worse than the bone shaker supercharge, but this rage boon, the crit chance, is definitely better than the unstoppable rage, and it has worse stats. I think it's a worse piece overall, but it's still very good. And you also want the stranglehold assistance as well. How do we get the stranglehold assistance? You cheese it from this piece, the monsters neurotics, the exotic version you get from village sectors. Not that tough to get. All right, stat relic. It's important you want this exact relic. A triple stab Valor Relic with Powerful Boon. The Powerful Boon is really strong. Your melee attack is power attacks and 8.5 crit chance is really good. This piece you just buy from the vendor. It's very easy to get every week. I believe it's Thursday is where you can when you can buy this piece, I'm pretty sure. Perk Relic, which you want is a piece, a relic with Faultless Vibranium Payload, something like one of these. I would say the Lethal Vibranium Conduit is definitely better than Perk Breaker, and you could also get it on Nornstone of the Bulwark, but that's even worse than Perk Breaker. So this would be the best one, a Vanguard with a Faultless Vibranium Payload, and you want good stats, Might, Valor, and ideally this third perk would be, I mean, this third stat would be Proficiency, although, you know, good luck getting that. And theoretically, they could be all 64, but that's not gonna happen. Exotic Relic, usually the Goat Relic, you definitely want to. It's basically just the Ring of Nibelong with the damage buff and the defense buff perks backed onto it. These defense buff perks don't even matter for me because I don't use a defense buff, but these damage buff perks are very good. An extra 10% crit chance, despite what it says, is very strong. And it goes from 16, it goes from 12 to 16 seconds for the damage buff, which is very good. 
this perk, the Bountiful, is really good. It's your orbs give you 50% more, and it multiplies with your rampant assistance. So that's going to be orbs giving you over five times as much. Per. So you definitely run this rank, no question. And the exotic relic cheese, you're going to use these relics to cheese it as well. And both the passives stay with the ring. And if you want to know how to how do I get the how do I cheese the relic and how do I cheese the gear, check the description. I, I go over that. The champion points are the exact same as everybody else. The crit ones are super important. You want to max those out. These four, or I suppose these one, two, three, four, five are all pretty decent. This one's pretty weak, and these four are worthless. The stat priority, the stats for Hulk, I mean, there is a stat priority, but because every piece, with the exception of your payload relic, is has a specific stat pool and you want a specific set of stats from it, you're not really going to worry about the stat priority. But it's going to be Valor's your best, then Might, then Resolve and Proficiency, then Resilience is pretty weak. You don't want any precision, and you're going to want one piece of intensity. You're going to get your one intensity from your melee piece. You're going to get two resolve from your chest piece and four piece, one piece of proficiency from your chest piece, valor on your relic, and three of your four pieces of gear. You're going to get might on each piece of gear. Yeah, and ideally you'd want valor, might, and proficiency on your librarian payload relic. Overall, how does Hulk perform? His AoE DPS is top tier. If they're close range, if it's just a bunch of enemies swarming you, he's top of the pack along with Hawkeye and Thor. He's very good at applying statuses. He applies four statuses, so he builds battery on enemies very easily, which is great for the team. You have your healing bottle up, which is it's, it's decent. It slowly heals you and the teammates. He creates a pretty decent amount of orbs. He's definitely immortal. You won't die as Hulk. Super tanky and with all the heroics. There's no way you can die. The issue with Hulk is his range damage is bad. It's just not good. And he can't fly. His stun damage is nothing special. Overall, I would say he's he's a middle of the pack hero. He's not as good as the Flyers or Kamala, Hawkeye, and Widow, but he's definitely better than the bottom tier heroes. He's a perfectly solid, solid guy to use. All right, let's go over the important abilities for Hulk. While in the air, you can use the light attack to go further and sort of hover downwards. It's definitely useful. You'll occasionally use that. You will also use your ranged attack as well as your heavy ranged attack occasionally. Not in distance, but they're not that good. Your main attack is your heavy attack, which you do power attack, and then afterwards you do your heavy attack button, and you do a, basically a combo with ground pounds. Sectonic Fury. Another important is Rage. While it's active, you build up statuses much quicker, you get faster heroic regen, and you get damage reduction. So, and you do more damage. So Rage is really good. You definitely want to use that or the Overcharge. The, no, the Overcharge, you won't get the crazy status buildup, but you'll hit harder than Rage. So you definitely use them both. And then there's the Overcharge. For the support heroic ability, it's Bone Shaker. You want to go have this active 24-7. When you activate it, it taunts enemies, and you get a big damage reduction, heroic charge rate, um, clears all statuses, and when you kill enemies with it, they drop heroic. They, you know, kill enemies taunted by it, they drop heroic orbs. You're going to want to be using Rampaging Bone Shaker, which makes it last longer when you kill enemies, and definitely Savage Heroism. When you kill the enemies taunted by it, they drop heroic orbs. The Assault Heroic ability, Stranglehold, when it, you activate it, it heals you and it overcharges you a lot. And you're going to run Barbaric Charge. This will give you an extra burst of Intrinsic to help you overcharge when it ends. And you're going to be running Irradiated Destruction, which will leave a Gamma Pool after the Assault Heroic activates. And you can use it against big enemies, such as Adaptoids, to get uh, instant takedowns. Your Ultimate Heroic, it doesn't matter which way you're aiming it. It's a giant AoE circle that does a lot of damage, and then you're going to be creating Gamma Puddles with Ground Zero. Creates a Gamma Puddle afterwards, which builds Gamma status on enemies, as well as heals you and nearby teammates. Very useful. And 
the Thunderclap Heroic Recovery. There's a chance when you kill enemies with your Thunderclap that they draw Heroic Orbs, which are insanely good. Now let's go on to the Mastery Abilities. I run these two for melee, but it doesn't really matter. I don't really use Grab Attacks. Definitely use Heroic Mastery Takedown. Definitely want to use Rubble. It's useful in the OLT to break the cages. I run Range Damage and Excavator, although it doesn't matter a ton. Intrinsic ability. This one is better than it's supposed to be. I think it gives like 100% instead of 15, so it's very strong. Extra heroic charge rate while rage is active. Extra damage while rage is active is very good. This, I run maximum rage. None of these are that insanely good. This is very good. You get an extra 15% crit chance while overcharged, which is really strong. An extra 20% damage while overcharged, which is really strong. You get an extra 60% while overcharged as opposed to rage, so that's very good. And temper, it makes your overcharge last a little longer, which is definitely useful. And while you do attacks, you want to be always using rage or have your overcharge going. 